Hello everyone, teacher Jonas here, and today we're going to learn more about addition with regrouping. Regrouping. Okay, so far you have added one digit numbers together. For example, three plus four, one digit and one digit, right? Which equals to seven. Nine plus two equals 11 see 9 is one digit 2 is one digit we learn how to add one digit numbers together you have also added two digit numbers together 10 plus 30 which equals to 40 6 plus 20 which equals to 80 see two digit numbers two digit numbers added together you already learned about this now Adding one digit and two digit numbers, we also learned about it. For example, 31 plus 7 equals, you can do it in your head, but if you can't, it's okay. You can always write it in the column form, right? So we put the ones and tens. You start from adding the ones together. One plus seven is eight. 3 plus, uh oh, we don't have anything, so just bring the 3 down, so the answer is 38. 31 plus 7 equals 38. Again, it's better if you just do it in your head. But if it's too hard, if it's too confusing, you can always use the column form. Okay, now let's review about regrouping. Regrouping in addition happens when the answer you get for a column, for example, the ones is more than nine. Hmm. You give the extra value to the place on its left. Now let's see what that means. We have 37 plus five equals, hmm, this is a little challenging. So you write it in the columns form. Seven plus five. 7 plus 5 looks like this. You see, 7 ones and 5 ones. Now, remember I told you we can always regroup 10 ones into 110. That's exactly what we do here. We regroup 10 ones as 1 tens and we are left with 2. So we write the 2 here and we have 1 10 added to the tens column. So we write it up here. Now, an easy way to do it is to imagine 5 plus uh, 7 is 12, 1 is in 10. So you put it up here, and 2 is in 1, so it's okay. You can write it down here. You can do it in your own way. It's best if you can do it in your head. That's the key. So, 1 plus 3 equals 4. So the answer is 40. Two. Pretty simple. 42. When both numbers are two digit numbers, it doesn't matter which one goes on top. So, if it's one digit plus two digit or two digit plus one digit, two digit always goes on top. The one with the bigger digit goes on top and the one with smaller digit comes down. But, if it's two digit plus two digit, like 51 plus 25, it doesn't matter. You can write, for example, 51 plus 25, it's okay. Or you can write 25 plus 51, it's okay. But if it's, for example, 51 plus five, when you write it like this, you have to write 51 plus five. You have to write it like this. Cannot write five plus 51. No, no, no. This one cannot. But if there are two digit numbers, you can write it in any way you like. So 51 plus 25. As always, we start from the ones. One plus five equals six. 5 plus 2 equals 7. So the answer is 76. You can do it in your head too. Oh, learn to add two digit numbers with regrouping. Uh oh, so this one has regrouping. Does it? Let's
let's see. 33 plus 21. We start to add 3 plus 1, which is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the answer is 54. Hey, this one had no regrouping. Very easy. But let's do one more. We have 16 plus 78. Uh-oh. I think this one has regrouping because 6 plus 8 is more than 9. So let's start. 16 plus 78. 6 plus 8 equals what? It equals 14, right? But guys, look at here. We have 14 ones. Hmm. Why don't we group like this one? Why don't we group 10 ones into 110? So right here. And now we have four ones left. So we just write the four down here. Yeah, like this. Easy. So now we go to the next digit, which is the tenth digit. We have one plus one plus seven, which is nine. One plus one is two. Two plus seven is nine. So the answer is 94. Let's do it one more time. 16 plus 78. 6 plus 8 is 14. You write the 4 here. You put the 1 up here because that 1 means 10 ones, right? And you just add these together. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. I'm speaking fast because I want you to be able to process very quickly, like a robot. <laughs> so, let's do one last one. 29 plus 35 equals, I don't know. This one, I will do it slowly. So listen carefully and try to repeat after me. 29 plus 35. Hmm. First, we add the ones. So, 9 plus 5. What is 9 plus 5, guys? Who can tell me? 9 plus 5 equals 14, right? It equals to 14. See, 9 plus 5 equals 14. So, we write the 4 here, and this one, we regroup 10 ones as 110. So now, 1 plus 2, what is it? 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Bam! Done. So the answer is 64. Okay, until now, you have learned to do double-digit numbers addition with regrouping. Let's do one more. I want to do a crazy one. 90. Ooh, 9 plus ooh, 99. Oh my god. So let's do it. 99 plus 99. Okay. So remember what to do? First, we add the ones together. 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 equals what? Equals 18. So, you write the 8 here, and you give this one up here. So, 1. Now, 1 plus 9 is 10. Okay. So, Lee, 1 plus 9 plus 9. Uh-oh. This is 10. Now, 10 plus 9 equals 19. Oh. Now, we don't have any number to lend this to. So we just write this down here. 19. 99 plus 99 equals 198. Oh, that's a big number. So let's do it one more time. 99 plus 99 equals 198.
8. You should be able to do this by now. All right, guys, today's class was a quick class because it was quite easy. You already learned about adding numbers with regrouping. If you have any questions, you can always ask Teacher Jonas. Until next time, Teacher Jonas out. Bye-bye, everyone. See you.